Hey, what is going on, everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and we're back at it again with the Bitmain Antminer uh, S19K Pro. This time, talking about Brains OS and how to install this firmware on your particular device. Uh, now, Brains OS is uh, something, a firmware that you can download for your specific miners. They support all kinds of different devices, as you can see here in the S19 series. Ranging from the regular S19, obviously different models and different hash rates, all the way up to the J Pros, J Pro A, so on and so forth, and soon to be the S21. If you haven't checked it out, their team posted on Twitter uh, the unboxing. We should see a firmware update for that as well. Now, also the S17s and even the classic S9s. Um, if you want more information about each miner, you just come to this website, brains.com, go to the download section. And you can see a little bit more information about each miner. Uh, now, be careful for our particular device. We cannot download this SD card image. Our AM Logic Control Board um, is connected via micro USB, not uh, micro SD. So you can see here that the SD version is only available for the Bagel Bone Black and Zinc and uh, Xilinx, but not the AM Logic. So we have to go a different way which is through the toolbox uh, that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. And then there's a legacy toolbox that I don't want you to get confused with the toolbox I'm about to use that is uh, you know, more profound for the older models or legacy hardware. So just make sure that you know there's a difference between a legacy toolbox and the one that we're about to show you today. But now that we confirm support, we can go ahead and go to support devices. That's one link you can check out. I have it in the description. But we just want to click download toolbox and it's going to go to a Google Drive. I know some of you don't like Google Drives, but here it is. Um, and you can see that it's only supported for Linux and Mac OS. The Windows version is still being built on, uh, so it's not there quite yet. Now, while it does say that the uh, S19K Pro is supported, right? It shows it here, one of the supported devices. I don't see it in the list down below, um, but from my understanding, it is supported as well. AM Logic Control Board uh, A113D is supported through remote installation only. Uh, so we passed those checks, but just make sure you check everything here and then download the correct version uh, for your operating system. Now, obviously, I'm on a Windows system, so I need to do this on a Linux system. So let me go ahead and get one booted up while we wait for that to do uh, to, to start up. The Academy is a very good place. Academy.brains.com is a very good place for you to get all your various resources and tools and stuff like that. I really do like it. Uh, make sure you check them out. Uh, I'll have that linked in the description. And I just want to make sure that you are aware that you will need a license. And here are the prerequisites, right? Either a Linux 64-bit or um, you know AMD 64-bit uh, PC or an ARM 64-bit PC, Raspberry Pi, Mac OS, Monterey 12.0 four um or higher and obviously this is the the current version of brains os uh that we're running if not there's probably one newer i think we're on 24 point something but i can't remember uh but at least a newer version of brains os and of course before installation of brains os each device has to be authorized towards uh the licensed server and they give you the server address plus the port if the authorization fails, uh, Brains OS Plus will not be installed. The client is being authorized by its public IP that must be whitelisted. And they say contact Brain Support for IP whitelisting. So we submit a ticket and we get our IP or our particular device whitelisted, which is exactly what you want to do. Now, uh, this is the Conceal Network or CCX box that I've been running in VM. Uh, we're just going to use it. Uh, for say, but you can just open up, you know, your browser or whatever you got on your Ubuntu Linux based uh, machine. Um, it was either this or Kali Linux. I just chose this. And then we could go ahead and search Brains OS. That's what we're going to be looking for here. And then we're going to go to download. And then we're going to go to download toolbox. And then we're going to click the one appropriate for our system. In my case, I chose this one right here. I just click download. It goes to your downloads. And then you want to extract it. Now, I double clicked it, so it downloaded it twice. But just extract it, and you can see it's right here, okay? 
Uh, now we can open in terminal, right click in the end blank spot, open in terminal. And we're going to do dot slash brains two eyes dash toolbox. And we should have a browser window open up, sure enough. And we need to specify our IP range. Now, a couple different ways. Um, you can obviously do the exact IP, or you could do range like one through eight, or for example, you know, one through 255. In my case, I just put a star there, which means it's going to search every device on my network. Uh, and I'm going to save and scan. Check your IP if you don't know what your IP is. For example, in Windows, we can open up the start menu, CMD, bring that window over so you can see it. IP config. And you could see my IP address locally, right? And then you could see right below here, if you weren't so zoomed in and scrolled in like I am, you could see the default gateway and additional information that you're going to need. So here we are. Uh, we only see the what's minor. We're not picking up the S19K Pro for some reason. So let me try to refresh this scan and make sure that we can see all devices. And let's try to give it the exact IP and see what happens. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, my device does not meet the criteria. Even though I, I can see my other devices, this one in particular, for some reason, is not meeting the criteria, it looks like. So let's give it another scan. Uh, we can visibly see the machine is online and good to go. But Brains OS is just not picking it up. It's only picking up the what's minor. So this is something that I would probably need to work with the Brains team on. Um, however, if you had a Xilinx, uh, a BeagleBone, or any other uh, a Zinc uh, control board, it would be so much easier for you than it is for me with my AM Logic board. So I'm not quite sure why my device isn't showing up. Uh, I might need to restart this particular device, this VM that I'm in, because it might not be able to see the S19K Pro on the network. So let me test that out first before I rule out compatibility because it does seem to be on the compatibility uh, checklist that we were just looking at a little bit ago, uh, but we'll just have to do some troubleshooting and figure it out. So I'll bring you back once we've done that. Yeah, so unfortunately I'm SOL. I'll talk with the Brains team. Um, I'm sure more updates will continue to come as the S19K is fairly new. Hence the reason why I already have a third-party control board on the way because I get more tunability. However, if you did have a supported miner using this tool, very easy until it comes out on Windows, you just select the device out of the list of supported items. You will see whether it's supported or unsupported right here. And then you just click Install Brains OS Plus. Now, again, you will need that license key. Um, and the team uh, can provide that to you if you communicate with them by filling out the form that we mentioned um, and just get that license that you need. Of course, uh, as you go through the installation process, you will be prompted for that license. Now, a cool thing here is by checking this box, we can see performance config. Now, this is an unsupported miner. It will tell us right here, one device will be skipped, but we can see power target, right? We can see default uh, move up or down steps uh, from negative three to positive three at 250 watts per step. Right, so we can tune the steps plus or minus specific value. We could check that and put in specific value, like say, for example, let's say we want to set it for 3,800 watts. Uh, the stock power supply on these things should be able to push up to 5,000. I wouldn't recommend running them at 5,000, more like 4,400, 4,600, somewhere in there. Um, and then you could see this the total devices and stuff like that. Now, if I scroll down this browser page. Uh, if this was a supported device, I would just click set power target and then Brains OS will tune the device accordingly. And then in pool config, of course, we can manage our pools. We can add a new pool, put in the pool URL, uh, you know, stratum, uh, you know, TCP colon slash slash, uh, you know, zerg pool dot org, you know, whatever it might be. You just copy the server from your favorite pool, whatever it might be. Uh, mining pool stats dot stream will help you find the right pool depending on your miner. Your username is typically your password, or if there's a special account, like say for example F2 pool, where you do have to put in 
a actual username and then your password can be whatever and sometimes your username by the way is like username you know btc dot whatever so follow the instructions for your favorite pool or whatever pool you're going to use but it's just as simple as filling out the information the gui is accessible however i just do not have a supported miner so i gotta wait a little bit longer unfortunately uh, but stay tuned because I do plan on having that secondary uh, or that third party control board in the future. But I wanted to actually show you this. Would have been nice to actually uh, install it on the S19K Pro. Um, but I guess I am just one of the rare ones uh, that doesn't have that luxury at this time. Now, I heard rumors that you can probably take control boards that are supported by brains. Um, and kind of add it to this machine like say for example let's get a s19j pro control board that we have lying around we could put it on this x19 xp um, and it could actually tune it um in general we can make the 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 k pro hit uh pretty good numbers uh comparable to the j pro a little bit more efficient uh but close to the hash if not at the same hash as the j pro but very simple to do it's just only supported right now on Mac and Linux. And again, everything's going to be linked down in the description. The Academy is a very good resource to get all the information. Quick start guides. They got intro videos, auto tuning, how that works and everything. Install, update, and manage for the legacy and the latest toolbox. So just make sure you're following uh, the directions accordingly. I just don't have... Um, a zinc or xilinx and a beagle bone board so i can't flash it with the sd card or the micro usb and then for the brains uh toolbox even though it does say you know the tools allowed for remote batch installations on amp miners for the s19 series with am logic and beagle bone black control boards it just doesn't see my device so that's a problem for me to figure out and when i figure that out i will bring you guys back but that's basic rundown on you know if you did have a support device what would the installation process be like? And even if you don't know if you have a support device and you just want to yellow it because it's not showing up on the list of compatible devices, you know, it's very simple to load, spin up a VM, you know, download the Brains Toolbox, the latest version, open in terminal, terminal, and then uh, dot slash Brains uh, dash Toolbox and let that UI open up. And then you can manage all your devices from there. Just set the range. As I mentioned, there are advanced options, but don't worry about that. Because uh, nine times out of ten, you won't be using those advanced options. Set the range, right? You know, 10.0.0. star. Um, and then let it save and scan. Find a device. And then not only can you install Brains, but you can set power targets and adjust accordingly once you have brains os actually installed there even be more tunability via the dashboard which i showed you um the legacy version on the s9 model of uh asics but that's gonna do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button make sure to get subscribed hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here and i will catch you in the next one have a great day